Steph is getting our, our lunch totally squared away here. This is our first week, technically day eight. Success. And we're on lunch, we're on lunch, day eight of the, the AIP protocol. That's the Paleo Autoimmune Protocol, yep. AIP. And Steph is trooping along with you. Trooping along with me, which is pretty impressive because it's a massive change. Massive and, change, but I know so. you won't eat right because I'm not going to buy it all. Well, I appreciate you doing it with me. I feel bad for you, but no, I appreciate you. No, I need to lose like 10 pounds, and guess what? Well, hold on. Okay. So we got that, and we're fasting at the same time. So we're doing intermittent, intermittent fasting. Yeah. We do a 16-hour fast from dinner to breakfast. There's 16-hour period. So, yeah, so our first week, we both lost the same amount of weight. Four pounds. So I, I only I have six more four. to go. I lost three. I lost three pounds. Oh, I lost four and something, but I had more to lose. And I first weighed in with lots of clothes on. And then this, when I did it this week, it wasn't. So who knows? We'll see next week what happens. But My I got goal more is lose. not the weight, but it is, it is happening. So three pounds in a week. And um, it's gotten way better, like easier. The first couple days. Hold on. That's putty trying to say I want out. But she might not really want out. So the first couple of days it was uh, challenging, just that whole change, but we've got it dialed now. And we're actually, we got a lot of food on, like our lunch, we just put a bunch of stuff out and started eating by hand. That has so made it eat. so much easier. Just having the grazed lunch, we yeah. just take everything in the fridge out, put it on the counter that maybe we'll eat, grab a handful of spinach, grab whatever, whatever. Well, that's what we're gonna be doing right now is finishing yeah. our lunch, but we, we could even go without lunch right now. Don't you feel that way? Yeah, because we were eating breakfast so late. Like mm -hmm. nine thirty is when it, we finally end up in, it ends up being between nine and nine thirty. Yeah, but and from so, nine thirty to five, because we eat dinner at five. Yeah. Do you do you feel like you the reason you're not having to have lunch is because it's so because you're eating breakfast so late? I don't know. I never really thought about I it. I feel but like my my desire for lunch keeps going down, like less. Like I I think it was a, a habitual thing to say, oh, we got to eat lunch, but like yesterday I was thinking, I'm not even. I'm saying I got to eat, but I'm not that hungry. There is a fear factor, though. The first couple days were brutal. There is a fear factor with eating breakfast, and then even if you're not hungry, you know that there's dinner's the last meal. So and there's a panic to stuff in, yourself for dinner because yeah. you know you're going to be hungry. If Putty's waking us up at like 6:30, that's all the way till like nine. We got to wait, yeah. and that's pretty long. But one of these, before this is over, I'm sure I'm going to go completely without lunch. I not. could probably do it today. I don't know if I could wait. I'm not. I'm not hours, exactly. So no neither one to. of us are starving right now. No, but. and that's weird. So we just break out a big thing of spinach. We've been grazing on this. We've got uh, grazing on uncured ham from Sam's uncured. Club. We got these snacks like the plantains and pork rinds, which Steph doesn't like. This we found that is, is pretty good. good. That's like that alone is powerful. That salmon there is really great. Good. It has sugar in it. I never even looked at it because they okay, I ordered gone. a different salmon and they sent me this and I was like, okay, that's fine. And we ate it. It was great. Um, but it actually has salmon, has fish in it. I wonder if we could. That's gone. I wonder and if these we could rinse are, it. These are olives because we got some fat from the olives, a variety of carrots. We're supposed to mix up as many flavors as you can, which is kind of a neat thing. So if you were like, oh yeah, we didn't have anything black. Let's have olives. Let's have whatever. This is something. I made Instant Pot beets, which I'm obsessed with beets. Beets are pretty good. What is this? Coconut oh, almond Oh, this stuff, butter? you guys. If you guys are on this or have done this, or if you can't have peanut butter or whatever, roasted coconut butter. I'll put a link to it. I discovered this on Amazon. It's like heaven. It's all, it needs to be stirred up. But it is your peanut butter. If you like coconut, oh, it's so good. These tiger balls, are pretty good. They're tiger nuts. Uh, tiger Show nuts. Them what one looks like. I've never even heard of these. Yeah, never heard of it. And it's compliant. You and can't it, have nuts on this diet. These are packed full of goodness. They're so weird. It I'm weird obsessed eating. with them. It's a weird texture and everything, but powerful. They look kind of like a um, sugar smack, a honey smack. They're nothing like it when you chew it, though. You They're only good. need one in your mouth at a time. And it's like. They're hard, but not sweet. hard like a. Hard candy. They, you have they're to very crush sweet. Them. Mm -hmm. They're weird. They're nice. Really weird. But they give you that nut 
thing. It's fun. I love those. Mm. Some of the things we've discovered, like kombucha, now, after you guys saw us eat it or drink it, and it was Complain disgusting. It. But then we were like, oh, this guava one's good. And this Synergy, the GT ones are compliant. Mm. There's all kinds of things we're learning. Prosciutto. But this is so good. Um, Adrian, our daughter, oh. makes her own kombucha, and we've always thought that's disgusting. We've tried it and stuff, gross. I actually ordered a kit, and I'm going to make kombucha, or we're going to understand. science experiment. It is, that stuff is like it smelled in the beginning. We were just like, oh, oh. It's disgusting. Even the first drink now. Now we can't stop gross. drinking it. Yeah. What? Prosciutto. Mm. This air fryer. Take prosciutto so good. <laughs> in the air fryer or the oven. Bake it, because it's all thin, and it makes it a crunchy, mm. like bacon topping or whatever but it's salty it's good oh it's so good that's good so today we're just doing a little grazing this is literally how we have been eating especially lunch dinner oh, so steph vinegar. made some soup for dinner that yeah it's still put like when you first smell it it's all pudding. you take a drink and you're good the first drink is gross and then after that you're like oh, okay it's good and then it's really good but the um she made a soup that we ate did we get <sighs> dinner we did dinner, breakfast, and another dinner with that soup. We got two giant really, dinners, really and then we did eat breakfast because we had to hurry. We were going to go meet the kids. And yes. um, we got up, ate last some minute, soup. Who we ate? Ate soup for breakfast. Never did that before. But it was a stew, actually. It was stew. Oh, I've done that before. Oh, yeah. And we just we just sat here and grazed like this. Yeah, and all and of a sudden you're full, and you're like, okay, I guess I've had enough, and then one. move on. Eating a ton of avocados. Yeah, we are. All kinds so we're, of things. Um, we're, we're not hurting. That's we're not for hurting. sure. We're doing good. But Energy the first couple like days were bad. I mean, your body's yeah. detoxing, and it's so no weird. joke. I had Steve got diarrhea. And he never gets diarrhea. Got it. I got it the first two days, and then maybe there was one rogue one in a few a days rogue. after that. But my after the other nap, my bowels have been like. In the first few days, really every nice. time I went to go pee, which is all the time because I always am peeing, I was going poop too. No diarrhea though, but I was going poop like every time. I am eating avocado. It was weird. Well, that's your problem. But we're this is uh, we're eating right now. Well, they might be too. But anyway, it was really weird. Here, have a bite of this while you while we talk about the poop. Mm. But this stuff, oh. no joke, it's so oh. good. But it doesn't need to be stirred up. Hey, but buddy. it's so. Even if you're not on this diet, get some of that. It's so good. It's oh. unsalted. It's just coconut, but it's sweet. It's good. Okay. Well, you just shoved that in your mouth to tell about something. I, was, I didn't have enough in it. I was trying to combine it. Oh. So I did another bite. I like your avocado um, fork or whatever. Mm -hmm. Just using the slave. Mm. Mm. Well, anyway, we found all, all kinds of weird stuff that we like. Oh, another thing, too just in i um we everything calls for coconut everything coconut milk coconut um water coconut um cream coconut there's coconut in everything which is really good because we love coconut oh, i mean yeah. love it coconut flour coconut sugar everything is coconut because you can't have all the other stuff and so um i bought this thing i got such a deal once i found out about it it's like it's supposed to be an almond maker. It's a nut maker, mm. a nut milk maker, almond nut, I think. But it's called the almond cow. But they're very expensive, and it's one of those things that people, it's like a fad thing kind of, you get into it, you think you're going to do it, you spend all this money, and hundreds of dollars, it. and then nobody uses it. So like, like exercise equipment. Yeah. So I snagged one for $40. Wow. If you guys look them up, it's 40 bucks. So even if we only use it once, I could flip it. And we could sell it if we wanted to, but I think we're gonna we're like gonna it. But I'm making pasteurizing putty's milk. No, we're making coconut coconut milk, and we're gonna try it because I need to um, do a review. You open it. What are you doing? I'm trying to eat this while we're talking. Has a nice little lift pouch oh. where you just go right in. <laughs> He's like manhandling. He's like, well, we've never been in this container before. I didn't think. I said it looked familiar. Sorry about that. That's fine. But um, the coconut milk we're gonna make. We're gonna make it. All you do is take shredded coconut and water and then it grinds it up and does all the stuff and um makes coconut milk so that's what we're See, gonna we're make learning. it so another video we're gonna have that and that's gonna be soon because we need to do it today i think or tomorrow this is gonna be fun 
Yeah, in the kombucha, I think it takes like a month. So we need to get on this Whoa. and then get it started. But we'll video it along the way because it's gonna be a science experiment. I'm really grossed out, really, really grossed out about having a little living thing eating off of sugar, <laughs> like a weird slimy glob thing that's the bacteria or whatever it's it is. Alive. It's just sick. I, Steve will like the idea of it, but I, I don't know. I don't know if I can stomach it, but whatever. It'll be fun to do. So, so overall, Mm -hmm. What do you say, like about this whole style of eating? Like, do, do you hate it? Oh no, I it? think this is totally fine and very doable. And if you we if it helped you and we needed to stay on this diet the rest of our lives, we could do it. I'm getting better at it, finding recipes. There's support groups in Facebook and um, sh recipe sharing groups and stuff, which are helpful. But um, and then I'm finding websites that tell you what things you can get or ideas of what brands. So I don't have to sit there and look at every label. I know what things now. It's getting easier for me. The hardest thing is pepper. Pepper is a seed, black pepper. So it's forbidden. So having finding anything without pepper in it is really, really hard. And who and knew pepper was going to be on the list? I know. I love pepper. Also eggs. Eggs are really hard not having love, on there because eggs. eggs are in everything too. Sugar obviously isn't going to be on there, but... That's hard. But another thing too that's really crazy is um, all of these things that you buy that are pre-made, they'll be totally healthy and everything. And then they put spices. That's mm -hmm. what they write is spices in the ingredients. They don't tell you what the spices are. And there's lots of seed ones. You can't have mustard, can't have- um, Just becoming an expert on this. Peppers, so no cayenne, no anything. And that's usually in a lot of things. Um, all kinds of different things that you can't have. And it makes it really rough just because they just generically call it spices. So, and, and as far as the pain thing goes. Oh yeah, that's the reason like, we're doing this. Yeah, for the inflammation and stuff. First off, another thing I learned is that inflammation is good. Like inflammation is when your body is trying to help you. It's when it's like acute inflammation is good. How about an ugly one? You got an issue with, <laughs> acute one's good, an ugly one's not good. But if you got an issue that inflammation's coming there to help. And if you're, but, the bad one is chronic inflammation. It's like your system's out of whack. And it's just, you know, it's in high alert for no reason. So this is the cleansing period. So I'm not expecting any miracles or anything like that. But my brain is like doing really good right now. I don't know how to say. In That's like, good. Like my alertness is like that. <laughs> high alert. <laughs> like, like seriously, my, my energy level is like this. It's not this or this. And I can't have coffee. So I'm cold turkey on coffee. coffee. I'm drinking green tea. And I'm doing great with that now. And supposedly you're days. not supposed to have tea either. But um, oh. the lady, no, no, no. The lady that said it said in moderation, no more than like five to six cups or something like that oh. a day. Who's drinking more than that? So one cup is not going to hurt I anything two, for you. Yeah. I do two Up bags, that. one cup to make it strong. in the morning. And I haven't, I'm not like, I don't even think about coffee, which is weird because I love having coffee. Yeah. Okay. I wanted to tell this because I had no idea. Okay. So this whole diet, it's six weeks of this, of, of the elimination six period. Weeks. Six weeks is what we're supposed to be doing where we don't touch anything bad at all. And we've had some that we messed up on, didn't notice it till I looked at the label or whatever. So it's going to happen. But for the most part, we're trying to really be good. But, um. Anyway, so six weeks of this, and then there's a reintroduction period where, is there a light going out? That was weird. I saw it too. Where, Maybe um, we're having a, an aneurysm. Both of us? We're doing the same diet. You're right. Diet aneurysm. Yeah. Too much kombucha. Anyway, um, so after the six weeks, then, then there's a little thing to it where you add in ingredients. And then you test it, you eat them once and then wait three days. If you have no reaction in three days, then you can eat, um, you, that one's fine mm. for your body. So what the whole thing is, is to reset your gut and get your body corrected. But what, what blew my mind was on the Facebook group, I thought this whole thing was just to find out what you can't eat or whatever and heal your body and maybe it'll correct itself. But it is actually healed people, like people with lupus have overcome lupus. There's a girl in there who said she has had lupus and it's gone now. She's been on it a long time now. That's amazing. I know, I think it was a whole year or something and her lupus is gone because um, an autoimmune disorder is when your body rejects 
perfectly fine tissue or organs or whatever it is for no reason. Yeah. It just gets out of whack. And so if you can reset it to where your body doesn't have that autoimmune thing flaring up, then um, your body isn't gonna reject it anymore. So if you're not eating things you're allergic to or you know that irritate you or whatever it would be, then you could actually reset. So I don't know about in your case, cause you're bone on bone in your neck and your back, but you have arthritis in there and the arthritis, the kind you have is the autoimmune type. Yeah. So if your inflammation in those areas gets better, I think that's how we're gonna know if something aggravates you or not. But in your case, it might be harder where somebody, if they have IBS or whatever, they're gonna they know, right they're gonna know. Oops, that didn't agree with me. I yeah. gotta go to the bathroom. So they know right away. I don't know how we're gonna know with you. So we're gonna have to see how this works well, for you. Dinner, let's say by the end of this, if I'm like, wow, I feel great. Then once I eat something, I'm, I'll know. You think so? If you eat eggs, yes. you're gonna know. I'll know. Okay. I can feel it. I can feel like when my body is like, um, like pain is just everybody's in pain on some level. I'm in no it pain is it ever. Is. It's really okay. rare. Okay, most people. I'm not complaining here. Okay, there's people worse off than me, and life is what it is. You gotta keep going. Some days, it can be. You know, debilitating. Mild. He has really and bad days and really good days. And Daisy just sucks. Listen, Most days he just sucks it up and deals with it. Listen, what else are you going to do? I know. You've but lived with it so but long. But there are days where I feel it not just in where I hurt. <clears throat> like I could feel my body being like relaxed. Attacked or, oh. No, relaxed. Like, okay. Like the, I assume that's when it's not really, let's say, inflamed. Yeah. I assume that's when it's happening. Because there's times where I'll get up out of bed and I'll go, woohoo. You know, like I can feel like, oh, things are things yeah. are nice. So just like when it gets bad, I can feel like, okay, this sucks. And then you try to do certain things that you know help to some degree. Yeah. So this diet, I'm not expecting it to be 100%, but if it helps to keep my let my system do its job properly, and that's what you're describing with how you get rebooted, like the fasting. You get new cells, like your, your gut gets to a, like a reboot, another start. So, but I'm, I'm doing great. Okay, good. <laughs> well, if you guys decide to do it. Pork rinds. Oh, and by the way. Just type in, even if you just do it and you don't know what your pains are or what your problems are, or if you just want to do a diet, try this weird diet with you. You know, just do it. There's. A list, I'll put a link in this of the list of things. I found a really good um, site where she said, these are the things that um, you should stock your pantry with. And getting all those things on that list, they seriously are in every single ingredient. Every recipe has the same, like 10 ingredients, it seems like all she the time. Our cabinet over and, and over. Reorganized. I've started cleaning them out because I think we're gonna be on this for a while. But cleaning them out and really just to where anything we grab in the fridge is going to be okay. Because I have bad stuff and good stuff in there. Freezer, I cleaned out a bunch of stuff I gave to the neighbors and Amanda and stuff. Where we had gluten-free stuff or something where I didn't notice it had egg in it. And it's like, great, you can't have eggs. So that's gone. And there's, I'm just cleaning out things to where there, we, I can't mess up in cooking stuff. So that's making it way easier. But... I feel like I'm spending all this time all. prepping when and less time cooking and stuff, but I know I need to cook and stuff and do stuff. But learning anyway, I'm learning a lot. And I don't know if we're gonna do this forever because I don't no know. Reason for we'll both see. Of us, but for me. But I didn't give up coffee and I still lost my weight. So yeah, I can't case, believe I lost that much. We both lost weight. I lost three pounds, she lost four pounds, which is weird because I'm a fatter I'm walking. one. No, you're not. Oh. Shut your mouth. Every day I walk twice. We walk the evenings together. In the morning, Putty and I go for a walk and I work out. And I, she lost more weight than me. I had more to lose, I told you that. And it also depends on what time you weigh in or whatever. I'm if I'd overly, weighed myself after breakfast, I'm sure I would have weighed a lot more. So I'm not overly concerned about we'll weight loss, but I do think that the lighter you are, the less pain that you will have. I mm -hmm. think, you know, you're just, your body, your body doesn't have to work as hard to move you around. And that's another thing is exercise is a prescription too. Like that's overlooked. Like just trying to move, doing whatever you can to keep moving. Cause when you stop moving, that's when things really You know what I should back. do? When I do my dumpster dive and I jump up, I should do like push-ups. I think you're doing enough already. Like when you balance and stuff on there. 
I don't do it as much though. Dumpster push ups. Dumpster abs. Yeah. So, anyways, it's been easy. Not now. that hard. Well, it I'm was hard in the beginning. Too. Just so you know, if you guys do this, it is freaking hard in the beginning. It's overwhelming, it's exhausting. And if you have a family it's member that's not doing it too, like, luckily we're doing this together. He couldn't do it on his own. There's no way he's going to remember what, he, to do it. what you can and can't have. You have no idea. I just wouldn't eat. I could That's totally true. go. I can go a month without eating. Well, I guarantee you that. He would just pick three items, and those are the three items he would eat, eat every, every single day. meal, every day. <laughs> and that's how he would do it. He'd have spinach and probably like ham or salmon. Well, I would have ham, salmon, chicken. We're going to be eating some liver. You're supposed to have a lot of organ meat, and I don't like that. I like gizzards and hearts, you know, like chicken stuff like that, and turkey. We're gonna find out what this liver thing's all You're about. You're supposed to have it a lot. Yeah. A lot. A so, lot. Like every um, day. Yeah. So I'm going to have to. Maybe I'll like it. I don't know. I've tried liver before, but maybe it was prepared gross or whatever. I was even thinking of maybe I could put it in a blender, cook it, put it in a blender, and just drink it real quick and get it out of the way. I think that sounds disgusting. It does. Because yeah, you'll look at it too. But we ate kale last night. We've had kale salad and stuff. And love it love it like the one from costco that's the pre-mixed one that has the yeah. cranberries and stuff but we can't have that dressing you can't have the seeds the pepitas and stuff you can't have any of that stuff so um we took that salad and just ate it without the other stuff and it was fine but we ate just rainbow kale last night i steamed oh my it goodness. sickening oh my goodness and i've had kale chips and stuff like that just eating the way we ate it was the, the way you worst eat spinach you eat was sickening the spinach though is it's tasty. Oh, yeah. We love spinach. That kale was brutal. Disgusting. Like, brutal. But we ate it. What else did we eat that was disgusting? That was disgusting. And then there was something else we ate. There was something else that we were, like, choking it down. Oh, it was that smoked salmon that was really salty and had the fish and skin like on it. I smoked salmon, but we had one that was pretty rough. This one was really good, probably because it had sugar in it. <laughs> now we've read about it. The neighbor gave but us, the Canadian neighbor. He just gave us some more. Stuff, gave us some good, good fish. Yeah. But I don't know. We've had so, a bunch of stuff that's been gross, I guess, but... And a lot of stuff know. that we really like. Yeah. In some ways, it's made our... Made things easier. Well... Like, we're real efficient. Like, we just... Breakfast is... Breakfast excuse is Excuse me. Awesome. Breakfast is the hardest. Yeah. Because you're missing <laughs> eggs and can't have bread and all that stuff. Plus, you haven't eaten for 16 hours. Mm -hmm. By the time we have breakfast, that 16 hours has went by, and we... It's way better now. Like, I, like today, we both said... I think we could skip lunch. Yeah, guys, right. I think we ate a lot for breakfast Our this breakfast morning. breakfast was, was huge. big and hearty. Cassava. Cas cassava. Cassava pancakes are... They're coconut cassava. To me, they're like a little lifesaver because you get the coconut milk on it or whatever you put on there. Mm. Mm -hmm. Whatever's on there, it's just like a... It's just a nice treat. And you can have honey and you can have 100% um, maple syrup. So there I'm are using some my phone or I'd show you pictures of our meals. It's mm. I'll put I'll, I'll pop a picture in mm. here. Of what, what we've been eating because it the breakfast is on point. Where are they? What are you looking for? These weird little muffin things. Oh yeah, those are packed full of uh, prepping stuff and having stuff ready too. Like um, you can't even see them because it's weird, but these little muffins they kind of look like a maybe the consistency of like a cornmeal. Yes. Sort of thing, but it's. It's packed with meat and um, it's a powerhouse. Apples and all kinds of stuff and onions. It's like a savory one. But these we've been eating like one of these just made two dozen or something of them. Is how much heat it up and like it's seriously like just one a little of those. side on this thing and it's packed with oil and fat and all kinds of stuff. But they're really good. It's like eating and a sandwich. You can one just grab one, one and it's, you're stuffed. Yeah, you can tell one of them has a lot, a lot of power. Yeah. Anyway, so having things that we found now that we like for breakfast has helped. Um, having things like that where it's quick and on the side, it helps. Per meal prepping would help. Having one recipe that can last a few meals is handy. So I need to just stock up and make a bunch of recipes and have them on hand and that would make it easier. Maybe I'll make you make one. I could try. It's gonna be easier because all the ingredients are Thanks for are doing it with me. You're welcome. Ready? Yeah. I don't know if you guys heard it, but he cracked my back and it felt really like good. Like three times. Yeah, it was a good one. That I is nice to... of you to do this with me. 
I love you. I don't want you to I be in pain. Too, I've, we've been married 20 years. I know, but And you've been in pain almost all of it. I've been in pain almost all of it. In pain. No. <laughs> to where I get very flippant to it because I'm just like, I'm so used to it. He's fine. He'll be fine. And I am. And I'm he totally sucks fine. it up, but I know. We're, I see it. I'm totally fine. So anyways, going good. Day eight. And uh, I'm kind of excited about it. Okay. <laughs> because it's getting better. You know, like, the, this is easy now. Yeah. We'll keep you guys posted. By the way, Continue. one more thing. I feel like I'm losing weight in weird places. I just told that to Steve. I lost some right here. Like, look I at feel this like finger. areas, like, that are thin, like, thin skin, feels, this feels thinner or something to me. Like, my neck feels thinner. Like There's weird spots in, that just feel like it's coming off in a weirder spot than just, like, my gut. No, my butt. That's not a thin spot. Oh. But it feels oh. nice. <laughs> anyway, weird, it's weird. I feel, I don't even feel weight loss. All, well, the main thing for me is mentally, I just feel like I'm, I feel like I'm a little less dumb. Oh, well, that's nice. I'm just as dumb. <laughs> I'm equally dumb. Um, usually I can tell if I'm losing weight by my pants, but I'm wearing, I've worn stretchy pants or a dress. All of COVID until even still now, all summer, all winter, I wore those pretty much the same thing. And I'm wearing them right now too. Found these stretchy pants that this. have um, the pockets in them and they're great for my phone and for a dumpster. He's taking his shorts off. No, I guess you sure. Cause now you said that. So this is a little, it's a hair. It's a hack. A hair thing. Yeah, Steph invented this hack. And so I, I didn't put it there. It. You invented this? No. You, you No, girls it. at work? No, you did. I did not. Girls at work that were pregnant and had babies, they would do that all the time to make their pants a little bit bigger. So it would stretch them out so they could not have a button. They could have a little My bigger. wife invented this and no. then I just stick it on I that button. I modified it. So there you go. And even with it like that much tighter, they're still a little loose. So that's great. I must have lost it in my caboose. Your caboose? Your kombucha got <laughs> lost your caboose? <laughs> yeah. I lost yeah. it in my caboose. That's good. All right. Well, anyway. And by the way, Putty's doing great too. She doesn't mind it at all. She's cute. She's eating her <laughs> regular food. But anyway, that's our deal. So keep an eye out for eventually a kombucha, unless it gets so grossed out and I just can't do it. I don't know. We'll kombucha, see. Kombucha, coconut milk. But the coconut milk is coming because I need to do that today or tomorrow. And we, we have love to do it. some coconut milk. Yeah. All right, guys. We'll keep you posted on uh, how this little adventure goes. Yeah. Enjoy your life. I'll put links to things in there. By the okay. way, cheers. Oh, cheers. Cheers, guys. Click. Ah. Mm. Oh, yeah. What are you looking at? This is after our thumbnail. I had to eat all that. Oh. Let me see yours. <laughs> I didn't want to. Mm -hmm. We did a thumbnail. And then we had to eat it. Yeah. And this peanut butter stuff is pretty good. Pretty good. All right. You guys are seeing behind the scenes right now. Uh oh. Spilled all over. What was it? Avocado. Oh, what's that? Oh, I thought that was a knife for a second. Yeah, I'm just jabbing it at your eye. All right, um, guys. Say bye again. See if you can get one of those tiger nuts in your mouth. Get a tiger ball. What do you mean, get it in my mouth? Pop it up. Oh, catch it? Uh huh? Don't knock your tooth out. You're asking it. Oh, I that got... light is messing with me. But I'm not I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. No. Nope. Oh look! I caught it in <gasps> this finger. It. I caught it right there. How did I hear that? I, I better hear it drop. Nice. Okay, now blow it up in the air like a peanut. Or like a pea. It, it's, it doesn't have it's the right heavy. weight. Try it. Let's see. You can get it. It, it, doesn't <laughs> have the, it doesn't have the right weight. How about this olive? That's got a hole in it. No, do it on the side. It won't stay on the side. Prep it. I have to because I had that yeah. tiger ball in there. It's a nut. Tiger nut, but not really a nut.
What's the hand doing? Oh, to catch it? It's got a hole in it. It's not going to work. You're defying all the laws of gravity right now. Well, I just thought that your lung capacity was way better than that. You want to see my lung capacity? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. What are you going to do? I got to swallow first. I'm going to blow smoke out. How are we going to see that? Watch. No, you can keep camera. You can do it there? Watch. You want me to turn the light out? Um, I wonder if the light off would help them see it better. Or if you can do it once, you can do it many times. No, it'll give me a headache. No wonder it's gonna give you a headache. It's ridiculous. Did you see it? No. Okay. It's impressive though. All right. <laughs> <laughs> this diet's not doing anything to us mentally. All right, talk to you guys later. Bye.